Hello everyone and welcome to Simply Learn's YouTube channel. Today we will be taking you through ExpressJS. We will go through certain ExpressJS HTTP methods, features of ExpressJS and this will increase your in-hand knowledge of ExpressJS. The best way to master a language is by programming in it. So by the end of this tutorial, you will be able to implement ExpressJS in different ways. Before we begin, let me tell you that we have regular updates on multiple technological videos. So if you are a tech geek in a continuous hunt for the latest technological trends, then consider getting subscribed to our YouTube channel. So without further ado, let's get started and see what's in it for you. First, we will see introduction to ExpressJS. After that, we will see what is ExpressJS. Moving ahead, we will see features of ExpressJS. After that, we will see HTTP request types. Moving ahead, we will see what is REST API and, and then some hands-on demonstration. Node.js is a fast JavaScript runtime environment, but it does not support request handling function, HTTP methods, or serving files. So ExpressJS comes into the picture. Express makes the Node.js code easier. As Express is written in JavaScript, it is very easy to understand for the developers who know JavaScript. And till now, Express is the most popular framework of Node.js. ExpressJS is a lightweight framework which gives functionality to it and makes Node.js easy for developers. Let's see what ExpressJS is. ExpressJS is a Node.js framework designed to build APIs, web applications and cross-platform mobile apps. It is very high performance, fast, lightweight and unopinated. That is, there is no structural way to write a code. ExpressJS is used as a server-side scripting language. Now, we will discuss features of ExpressJS. First, fast server-side development. With the features of Node.js, Express saves a lot of time. Middleware. Middleware is a request handler that has access to the application request response cycle. Routing. This refers to how an application's endpoint URLs respond to client request. Templating. It provides templating engines to build dynamic content on the web pages by creating HTML templates on the server. Debugging. Express makes it easier as it identifies the exact part where the bugs are. Now, we will see the HTTP request types. First one is GET. It is used to request data from the server, but mainly this method is used to read data. Second one is PATCH. It is used to update the data or to change or replace it. Third one is POST. This method is used to create new or to edit already existing data. Last one is DELETE. This method is used to delete the data completely from the server. Now, we will see the complete architecture of HTTP request types. In this, client sends a request in the form of JSON file and with the help of HTTP request, which are GET, POST, DELETE and PATCH, then it will go to the server, then server sends back the response to the client in the form of message to tell what happened to your request. Now, we will see what is REST API. REST means representational state transfer. REST is a popular architecture which is used to create web services and API is an application programming interface which is a code that allows two software programs to communicate with each other. REST API is a software that allows two applications to communicate with each other with the help of internet 
and various devices. It is a standard way to send and receive data for web services. REST API is very flexible and can handle multiple types of calls. RESTful API is a very popular and very commonly used to create APIs for web applications. Now, we have hands-on demonstration on some basics of ExpressJS. So let's get started. In this tutorial, I am using VS Code. But before that, let's create a folder. For that, you have to go to your C drive or wherever you want to create that folder. Let's create new folder. I'm going to name it as Express js 15 save this file now open your visual studio code open that folder here as you can see express js 15 select folder express js 15 is opened here Let's cut this. Now go to the terminal, new terminal, and write npm command npm init y. This will create a JSON file for us, as you can see here. Now Let's cut this. Now, we will install Express.js. For that, we will again go to the terminal and write npm install express. Press enter. This will take a couple of seconds to install. Here we go. Our Express is installed. Now, we'll cut this. All the modules are installed in this. As you can see, let's cut this and create a file here. Let's name it as index.js. Enter. Let's just close this folder. Oh. The index.js has been created elsewhere. We have to delete it and create it outside this module. So we'll create it here, not here again. I don't know what is. Yeah. We'll try index.js yes let's write const app which requires express name it as 4000 let's make it dot lesson and the function again code name to where it will listen to our code function that we have created try type of function and console dot log running on port or the same to get the data port make it let's close this yeah so our basic program is completed 
Now, what I have done here is I have created a basic express app. Now, I will write the get method. So, let's get started. App dot get. Get. Request. Request. Response. Now we'll send the response. Response send. Let's let's write here as hello. This is get. This is get method. Close this. Let's save this. Now. We will go to the terminal and run this file to see whether it is working or not. So we will write node dot to run this file. Here we go. Server is running on port 4000. Now we will go to the Chrome extension and we will write here as localhost 4000. Here we go. It says can't get. This is because get method needs a URL, which we have declared here also. So we'll copy this get request from here and paste it to this URL. Press enter. This shows us hello, this is get method. Now we'll go to the post method. Let's close this terminal and write post method. dot post and post request we'll write request response fat arrow function and here we'll write the response Hello, this is post method. Yes, and this. Let's save this. Now we'll go to the terminal, new terminal, and run this file. Node dot server is running at on four thousand. Now we'll go to Chrome extension. Here we'll write localhost 4000, but it can't get, so we'll write request post request and then enter. As you can see, post request can't get post request. This is because post method is secure and the data is passed in the request body. So it can't be fetched in the URL. For that, we need to open our Postman application. Here we'll write our extension URL. Copy this. So post method can only be fetched on the body part. So we'll paste it here and send. Hello, this is post method. So, as you can see here in the Postman application, you can see get, post, put, patch, delete, copy and all other methods of express. So, do check it out and with this, we have reached the end of this video. Make sure to hit the like and share button and press the bell icon so you will never miss any update from Simply Learn. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more from Simply Learn.
Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.